welcome to this next lesson, looking at some simple ways we can begin to embellish the melody to create some swinging solos. So the main ideas that I'm thinking about in this solo I just played are embellishing the sixths, so focusing on our sixth chords, especially on the C, playing up and down the chord or the arpeggio, and utilizing some of the notes in the melody around it, and then filling in the space using chromatics, connecting point A to point B. So the first thing and the C part here, the C6 of our melody, just going, I've got this great chord here of just playing A, G, E, C, A. So I can have a lot of fun just moving up and down that chord as we've talked about in some past lessons. So I can kind of start off playing the melody, maybe in a, a chromatic approach to it. And going down to the octave, okay? So just kind of playing around up and down that. go same kind of idea now on the G chord right I'm thinking of this big chord here and then I'm thinking of my E and F notes that are parts of the melody and just how I can incorporate that just kind of creatively and nice and rhythmically so just playing around off on a, a note that's in the chord of G to kind of pick me back up into the C and I might go so just kind of simple things right just playing with those chord shapes in mind and then I'm gonna just walk down chromatically to my F chord for uh, embellishing of the connection between the two and then setting us up into embellishing that melody. So the melody going up and then I want to land on the E and then the G. So if I'm kind of thinking about um, the C chord into that part of the melody chromatically from C to A, right? Landing on the E, then resolving up to the G. I might, if I can rhythmically get it in, do kind of a thing where I uh, play down like so, and then up like so. So I might go. Something kind of simple like that. I might go down uh, two ways, I might, and then move up there. So I'm just really looking at, these are my main notes in this part of the melody, and I'm just trying to kind of get to them and then get on to the next one. So coming from that C chord into the bridge, I've got, to the five chord. So just playing chromatically, connect A to B. And then I just kind of had fun in the first time. I just... And then kind of down, back up. So it's kind of, it might sound kind of silly in explaining it, but just kind of moving down and up between these target notes chromatically and however you want to do it rhythmically really kind of brings out the solo um, and just with some nice repetition. So another way of kind of playing that B section, might try kind of walking into it. Back to the beginning. 
So that's kind of a basic outline of how to do that. It's really up to you in terms of how you want to employ the rhythm, how many chromatics you want to use, um, and the, the rhythmics within those chromatic contexts of connecting them. But that's kind of the basic idea of what I would start working with to create a nice little solo off of this tune. So I'll play through uh, the melody with those embellishments one more time, hopefully kind of bring some of those ideas we talked about.